the human vampire, and one of the most beloved superheroes in comic book history will hit the theaters once again. Be prepared, as Eric Brooks, aka Blade, will enter once again in a battle against evil. He is stronger, smarter, and more powerful than ever. He was just a supporting character 50 years ago in the comic books. But he was growing and growing, and he became a legend. Before we tell you every detail about the upcoming Blade movie, let's make a jump on the recap about his previous adventures on the big screens. Today, kids may not know that Blade's first appearance was in the Tomb of Dracula, a comic book that was published back in 1973. He had a tragic childhood, losing his mother as a baby. She was bitten by a vampire while she was in labor with Eric. And that's how he became immune to becoming a bloodthirsty creature. Comic book lovers are full of respect for his name, and they keep all Blade's editions with great care. However, Blade's biggest fame started after his first appearance on the big screen. Three movies were filmed with his name between 1998 and 2004, and each of them have proven to be successful. But none of this would have happened if he wasn't playing the leading role. You can't forget Wesley Snipes and his incredible acting skills. Let's say that he was the one that was the most responsible for the whole glorification of Eric Brooks' name. 16 years have passed since Snipes' last appearance as Blade, and if it is true that good things happen to those who wait, then now is the best time for a new episode of Blade Saga. Well, let's take a look at each Blade's appearance on the big screens. The first movie was released on August 21st in 1998. Eric, aka Blade, is a 30-year-old vampire hunter who is after revenge for his mother's death. To achieve this, he must face up to Frost, a vampire who will manage to take the vampire leadership. 1998 was a year when Snipes was in his best acting years, and with him in the leading role, Blade's first movie grossed over $131 million worldwide. This was more than enough for further film adaptations, and four years later in March 2002, a sequel was released. Alongside Wesley Snipes, Chris Christopherson reprised his role as the vampire hunter Whistler. According to most of the fans, the second role for Blade was even better than the first one. It grossed over $155 million worldwide, against a budget of $54 million. The vampires have now mutated into creatures that have highly infectious bites and are named Reapers. These creatures are led by Damiskinos, and they want Blade's blood so that they can create a new vampire kind that will be immune to sunlight. Thomas Krushman and Luke Goss were great in playing both villains, Dominiscos and Nomad. Blade's trilogy was completed on December 8, 2004, when the third movie was released. Even though it was expected that it would overcome the previous ones, it didn't go that far. There were stars like Ryan Reynolds, who played Hannibal King, and Jessica Biel as Abigail Whistler. And even this wasn't enough for a better rating on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. The third movie had the biggest budget and it grossed almost the same as the previous two. Lord Dracula himself was a perfect villain for a finale like this. He was revived, and he would like to see you hitting that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really, he was brought back to life to cure every vampire's weakness. Fans around the world were hungry for another Blade adventure, but nothing happened until 2011 when Marvel succeeded to revert rights for Blade's character. But even though there was a statement every year that the new movie is nearing the corner, nothing special happened until 2019. Believe us, we won't disappoint you in the next part when you hear the release date for the upcoming Blade movie. The announcement for Blade's reboot came at San Diego Comic Con in July 2019 when it was official that Blade will join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But sadly, after this event, there wasn't any information about the movie premiere. According to some leaks, the filming was scheduled to start in July this year, and it is planned to be wrapped up by September. Again, this is only leaked information that wasn't confirmed by now. Before the official announcement of the new movie, Marvel's head chief Kevin Feige expressed the idea for Blade's reboot, first in 2016 and again in 2017. For Feige, Blade is a character with so much potential a fun character that has so many opportunities in front of him. And when a guy like Feige has an opinion like this, the success is undeniable. Marvel is now preparing for the premiere of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, so it is unlikely that the new Blade movie will be premiered in October this year, as the initial information was saying. 
Hopefully, we will watch The Vampire Hunter at the nearest in the spring of next year. Blade's reboot is coming with a new actor in the leading role, and it's Marshala Ali who will portray the legendary fighter against bloodthirsty vampires. The two-time winner of the Academy Award for the Best Supporting Actor is a perfect selection and he will surely do great in this role. In his rich CV, Ali has nominations for three BAFTA Awards, four Emmy Awards, three Golden Globe, and seven Screen Actor Guild Awards. Many of you may have expected that Wesley Snipes will come to reprise Blade's role for the fourth time, but let's be reasonable. Snipes is far away from what he has been 20 years ago. And yes, maybe he would have been the only one for Blade's suit, but he earned a bad reputation after Blade Trinity. There were reports that he got into conflict with other cast members and that he tried to strangle the director. Can you believe this? Besides Mahershala Ali, two other names are known by now. The 69-year-old Delroy Lingro and the rising star Aaron Pierre. However, their roles are unknown now. We also find out that Tyrese Gibson, who, if he was in your place, would smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No, really, Gibson will be the third name that will be announced soon. Most of the things in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are planned out and set somewhat in stone for the next couple of years. There are a handful of big new entries that remain up in the year in terms of production and release. For example, Deadpool 3 is currently being written and Marvel is also searching for a new director for Fantastic Four. But this group of titles includes Mahershala Ali's Blade as well. As we already said, the filming for Blade was planned to begin at the start of July, but we haven't heard any updates by Fans now. Fans are surely impatient to find out any official details about the story, and there are a lot of questions that float around. So far, the official synopsis for the movie doesn't share more information about the plot, but the insiders are suggesting that the new movie will follow Blade's origins from Marvel comic books. Also, the upcoming Blade movie is expected to be a place where the origins of MCU vampires are explained and why they are the main threat. The biggest question is whether we will find out more about Blade's previous life before he becomes a vampire hunter. Also, Fans want to know who will be the main antagonist in the movie. Some leaks suggest that it will be Dracula again, but this time, the Dark Lord will be accompanied by his daughter Lilith, the mother of all demons. We may see some flashbacks from previous movies, because almost 20 years have passed since the movie for Blade. The remarkable Bassam Tariq, who will be sitting in the director's chair, will have to give the answers to these dilemmas soon. According to Ali, he is out of this world, or a different guy, so we chose to believe in his words. It's also important to emphasize that this can be the only beginning of the new Blade era. The upcoming movie may be the start of a new trilogy in the future, and Blade may also appear in some other MCU projects, like the planned movie for Midnight Suns. So what do you think of these scenarios? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.